Hi everyone, a Gretchen. I'm Gretchen and I'm here with another AFS video. And there are more, so many video generators out there, models, and uh, basically it's take or pick at this point. They all do uh, great things, quality is great. I wanted to showcase my favorite, and this is the LTX model, 13 billion, 13B. So you, I linked to the page, they have three workflows that you can use for Comfy UI. They have a regular base workflow where you just generate a four second clip. They have an extend workflow where you can extend that to about seven seconds. And they have a frame, um, multiple frame, start, middle, and end frame workflow where you can use different frames or different photos to generate a video. So I'm going to focus in on the extend because uh, I think that provides the best value. It's what I've been using, but they're all good. You can just all check them out. Download them. Download the workflows. Important, you'll need the uh, T5XXL text encoder, and that's also linked in the description. And this is probably more important, is we're using the Kijai, who is the goat of stuff. The Kijai version for the LTX 13B 0 0.97. So make sure you get that version and use that, because it's going to run a lot smoother. So here's the workflow. Um, we have the uh, positive and negative. You can put a prompt in if you want, but you don't have to. You can copy that. You can just keep their negative as it comes. Um, that's going to go into the uh, conditioning mode. Conditioning node. You also want to make sure you you uh, install the uh, custom node for LTX V. Uh, load the checkpoint and you load an image file. Here I have a men, uh, image file, image made in a journey. And I put the text, a prompt in as cinematic shot of a boy and his pet monster laying on a hill. Like, you, know, you don't need a prompt, but I'm just putting it in just for a heck of it. The cool thing about these workflows from there, you have these little notes that gives you some explanation and some guide as to what nodes you're doing. Like this node, this one looks like a crazy node, but it gives you greater control because some of these parameters you can use and experiment with and explains it all here. So that's going to go into that um, guider advanced node. That's going to go into an LTX V base sampler. Um, the spaghetti monster here. Um, and they're going to spit out a low, low res base resolution. This is going to be low res because it's 512 by, I think, yeah, 768 by 512. So it spit this out, and I'm going to open this up. It's kind of like a nice dolly shot up. Okay, and again, that, that's a four-second clip. So I chose the extender because I wanted to extend it. And here's the extend portion of the workflow. Here, in the extend sampler, you put the number of new frames. So it's going to be the first 96 frames which is divided by your frame rate which is 24 gives you four seconds so you have the 96 plus this number whatever you put in here so 48 divided by 24 is 2 so it's going to give me an extra six an extra two seconds with a total of six seconds because it was four here plus an extra two you can pump this up you know we've gone as high as 12 seconds, um, but you may get an out of memory issue depending on your hardware. We have a 4090 laptop version, 16 gigs of RAM. We pushed it to 12 before we started having errors. All right, that's going to give you the video combined. Now, this is going to be the extended video. See, it's in six seconds and it's extending it, looking beautiful. And again, this is just at that 768 5 told resolution. So we're going to move on to the next portion, which is going to be the latent upscaler. Very important here. You need to download this as well. There's two type of upscalers. You have a spa spatial and a temporal. The spatial upscaler will provide you with the better quality. Um, the temporal will provide you with better consistency and stability. So it's up to you what you guys want to use. Uh, we use the uh, spatial 
and that goes into finally the add detail node which does the upscale or adds the details after the upscale and everything is set to default so I would keep it that way unless you want to mess around with it 13b upscale that goes into a tiled um, then it resizes the image not that it, it resizes it's what it thinks is is that those are the default default values that are just in there and this is not the video it's still running right now so go through this workflow it's laid out pretty pretty nicely by those guys it works right off the bat you set the plug in the models make sure you get the correct models in there make sure you get your upscale models in there if you want spatial or temporal and make sure you use the Kijai LTX 13B model, not the original, because it's going to freeze up your system unless you have a really good one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this video. I, I showed a bunch of videos at the beginning, and I'm going to leave you with this video at the end. Um, and again, you can see the quality. It's at... Uh, you know full HD so you'll see it's pretty decent quality and so far all those videos I put have been straight generations nothing's been cherry-picked so there are some mess-ups in there but for the most part it handles everything fairly well so make sure you check this out download the workflow experiment play around with it that's the only way and the best way to learn comfy why and make sure you like and subscribe to our video and to our channel. And we'll see you next time.